move well for a pregnant woman. Pilates. And how's the baby? It's a girl. No, thank you. She is late, and that is not like her. Might be. We hardly know her. I could say the same about you. I had to make sure I wasn't being followed. And were you? No. Good. Neither were we. Is that it? Yes. I acquired it three days ago. It's useless without the key, and we don't have it. We acquired this two days ago. The light will show you the way. Is it supposed to do something? about this business, my. So there's a passage on the other side of that water. Uh... Oh, well, that'll be fun for you, since I did the last one. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm 
dogs are booby traps or triggers. If I didn't know any better, I think you were flirting with mine. Well, I guess it's good you know better. Jordan! Jordan! Guess you knew me even less than you thought. You already have the buzz. Why don't you just let us go? And spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder? You guys are hunters, after all. By the way, Mason says hello. Fire! Can you hear me say don't? You know I don't like following orders. And that's exactly where the kids get it from. Are we done? Yeah. We're done. I told you not to, to harm them. What does it matter? You have what you wanted. Do I? There are four shards in total. This is just one of them. That's why I needed them alive, to find the others. Oops. Who else knows what they knew? No one. Actually, that may not be true. What do you want? I want to know if you have any spray trees. Trip, what are you doing home? Looking for the spray trees. I just said that. Never mind. You ran away from school again? A, I don't call it school. I call it juvenile detention. Emphasis on the juvenile part. And B, I came here because you told me to. Look. Come to me. Hugs and kisses. Why would I possibly want to see you? And when's the last time we hugged and kissed? Ouch. Sorry, that came out nastier than I meant. Well, if you didn't send it, who did? You did. What? Why would I do that? Because this is a classic trip, Flynn. Get out of school ploy. Just like the time you convinced your headmaster you had Vibrisse, you had to come home for treatment. It's not my fault he didn't know what the Latin word for nose hair was. I didn't send the text. I don't care. I'm taking you back to school tomorrow. 
Don't you think we should at least wait till Monday? I mean, it's Thursday. Maybe we could actually have a weekend. You still planning on sailing around the world on your own? I'm leaving next week as long as I don't get delayed by any more little brothers. Well, I want you to know that if anything were to happen to you, I'd take good care of your car. <laughs> Paxton Flynn. I'm Agent Valtis. This is Agent Latassi with his Interpol. Interpol? That they're missing? Mm. Right after stealing an artifact from a museum. <laughs> Our parents aren't thieves, they're researchers. Really? You think your parents can afford all this on researchers' salaries? I'm a kid. I don't know the value of things. Your parents are international thieves. Interpol has been following them for years. Did they ever say anything to you about missing shards? What, like pieces of pottery? Uh, no, from a mirror. No, not to me. They're not thieves. I always knew they were up to something. Who, Mom and Dad? Dr. Dull and Professor Duller? Come on. Do you remember that golden kettle they brought back from the Orient last year? Yes, and they returned it to a museum. No, they didn't. Hey, I caught them talking about hiding it in some secret room. And when they saw that I caught them, you know what Mom told me? I wouldn't understand. They stole it. Okay, well, there must be a valid reason. Trip, think, all of this, all of our wealth, why do you think they stuck us in boarding schools? It's a little hard to be international thieves while you're dragging your kids along. No, you're wrong and you know it. I'm right, and we all know it. Yeah, well, you know what, Pex? When you cut off Mom and Dad, you cut me off, too. <sighs> Are they okay? We don't know. We're hoping that you could help us. You, you, you said something about a secret room? What did they steal this time? A vase. Very old. It was hidden in a secret cave in Thailand, but it was stolen from the island of Tuvalu years ago. Inspector Latassi's government is obviously very keen to have it returned. Would you mind if I took a look at your badges just one more time, please? Yeah. Thanks. Agent Latassi from Tuvalu. That's right. Pax, do you mind if I talk to you for a second? About what? In private. We can talk here. We're all just trying to help each other, right? <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's just brother's stuff, how to talk to girls and put on deodorant, that kind of thing, right, Pax? Enough, kids! Something tells me those aren't Interpol standard issue. How'd you know they were lying? Tuvalu's not a member of Interpol. Smart kid. Now, where's the three missing shards? I don't know anything. I swear. It's true. I've known him my whole life. He knows nothing. Perhaps they're in the secret room we've been hearing so much about. Trip. Run! <laughs> <laughs> So do I. Dylan? Pax? Do you know each other? Move, move! Uh, let's go, let's go. Way to go. I'm not gonna shoot a stranger with a crossbow. I've got you. Why'd you learn to fight like that? Remember all those karate classes Mom and Dad made me take? Why'd you learn to move like that? Remember all those gymnastics classes Mom made me take? Yeah. Who were those guys? Murderous thugs, disguised as Interpol agents. But don't worry, I took care of them. Name's Flynn. Triplin. Wait, how exactly do you guys know each other again? Uh, we are acquaintances. It's one word for it. Dylan, didn't you say you dated a girl named Dylan? Dated? You said that we dated? I said we went out a few times. A few times too many. I take it it didn't work out. No. What are you even doing here? It's complicated. Mm. As am I. Trip. Sorry. 
I'm here because your parents are overdue. For what, fencing their stolen artifacts? Wait, Mom and Dad are not thieves, all right? Technically, that's not true. Mom and Dad are thieves? Technically, that's not true either. Let's get inside. I'll explain that all in there. Come on. Trip. Stop cleaning. Sorry. It makes me feel better. An ancient society called the Hunters. That's right. Warrior scientists who find fairy tale objects? I told you it was complicated. It's not complicated. It's insane. It's kind of cool. It's simple. Hunters find, acquire, and they conceal and protect legendary items. If these items end up in the wrong hands, it can endanger the entire world. Aladdin's lamp. The golden fleece of the Argonauts. All stories. All very real. All very powerful and all kept safe from evil by your parents. Because that's what hunters do. I believe you. This is ridiculous. You, you know all this just from working for my mom and dad. I know all this because I'm a hunter. Just like my mother and father were. Wait. Does that mean more hunters too? Is there a secret handshake? Please say yes. Am I the only sane one in the room? Before they left, your parents said if they should miss a contact time to give you this. Thanks anyway. I already have one. Doesn't work. Never has. Sort of the story of me and my parents. Neither does this one. They gave us identical broken watches. What time does yours say? One thirteen. Yours? 8.47. How come I didn't get a watch? Text, I got a text. That weird one you sent me. What's up with your phone? <laughs> it's been cranked up to awesome. Come to me, XOXO. You sent your brother a message saying, come to me, hugs and kisses? Cute. I didn't send it. <sighs> it's from mom and dad. It must have been a time delayed message said to go off if they went missing. A time-delayed message? Yes. Okay, fine. Then what does it mean? I think I know. Come to me, XOXO. Mom and Dad are always showing me how this pattern on this rug looks like X's and O's. Seven. Welcome to the hub. My parents used to talk about a place called the hub where they did the research. I just figured it was at the university. This is awesome. That's the symbol of the hunters. You still don't believe, do you? Your parents aren't just hunters, they're two of the best. How many hunters are there? Nobody knows, really. It's kind of what keeps us safe. Most hunters know a few others, but not all others. And I'm supposed to believe you because... Voice recognition engaged. Welcome, Captain Flint. Hex, what did you do? Welcome, Trip Flint. Whoa. Your parents must have pre-programmed the computers to recognize your voices for when you would both become hunters. What makes you think I want to be a hunter? I don't. 
The defining quality of a hunter is heart. Quite frankly, you don't have it. I've got heart, okay? I'm, I'm all heart. You're all talk. You know what I think? I think you're still hung up on me. If by hung up you mean completely nauseated by, then yes, I am very hung up on you. Kids, please. We still don't know where our parents are. Trip is right. See? Heart. Maybe the computer knows where they are. Computer? Where are my parents? Hunters Carter and Jordan Flint. Listed as missing in action during recovery mission. Last known location? Kang Sopa, Thailand. What exactly were they recovering? The four shards to the mirror. Those fake cops were talking about a mirror. Computer, what's so important about the mirror? Function of mirror, unknown. You know what I think? I think it's time to call Mason. Who's Mason? Oh, look, something she doesn't know. Mason Fuller is our parents' oldest friend. He might know where they are or what we can do. Sure. Hey, Mason, did my parents ever mention anything to you about a super secret organization of warrior scientists? No? Okay, thanks anyway. He's filthy, stinking rich. And people who are filthy, stinking rich have things like planes and, and connections. He might know what to do. Yeah, maybe. But I don't trust him. It's not that you don't trust him. You don't trust anyone. I don't trust him because he's friends with my parents. Do you seriously still not believe they're hunters? Come on. I have someone who can prove it to you. How long did you two date? We didn't date. Mom and Dad thought we'd like each other, so we went out a few times. Mom and Dad set you guys up? Ooh, I thought they liked her. <laughs> this car was not made for three people. <sighs> Paxton's life is designed for one. Another good one, Trip. Mm. Comfy. Would you rather walk? We should have gone back inside the house, forced them to tell us what the shards are. Yes, because that worked so well for you before. Yeah, but now that I know... Shh. Don't hurt yourself thinking. Besides, I don't believe those kids know where the remaining shards are. But I do believe they're leading us to someone who does. Just a little warning, Dr. Kramer's a bit eccentric. Dr. Kramer? A decoy? Yes, he is a decoy. <laughs> Hello, Dylan. Hi, Doctor. Now, who are your young friends? Oh, these are the Flynn's, Paxton and Tripp. Of course. Carter and Jordan's boys. My, how you've grown. Have you seen us before? Uh, no, never. I was stating a biological fact. <laughs> I assume we were not born this size. <laughs> a bit eccentric. We need your help. Ah, uh, yes, I know. Carter and Jordan went after the shards, and now they are missing. Okay, just because some crazy professor, no offense, knows the same story doesn't make it true. So you know about the mirror? Ah, yes. Uh, do you know the mirror from Snow White? <laughs> yeah, so there's a certain evil gentleman inside. Ah, uh, <laughs> that is just one of the legends, yes. Um, well, the mirror has been around for generations. Uh, usually held in secret. Uh, oh, yes, here we are. Now, right, about a thousand years ago, an evil army called the Krugen found the mirror. The Krugen? Yes, it's a terrible name, I agree. I would have come up with something far better, like um, the Voldani or, or the League of Contagion. Oh, that was spot on that day. I would Dr. Have... Kramer. Uh, right. Um, well, the leader of the Krugen used the mirror, and the result was a little something we've come to know as the Dark Ages. So what's the mirror used for? It grants whoever looks into it their absolute deepest desire. And the only thing that someone who wants the mirror ever desires is power. Okay, are you guys hearing how crazy this sounds? Max, we live in a house with a secret lab full of fabled artifacts and a talking computer, and you still don't believe this? That's crazy. I like this young man. You? <laughs> so the mirror is broken? Well, now, come on, here. It's tea time. Now, 
In the 13th century, a group of knights known as the Hunters attempted to destroy the mirror. Uh, the evil in the mirror fought back. The best that the Hunters could do was to break off four shards. Now, four of the Hunters each took a shard, concealed them in vessels, and rode off in different directions. A fifth Hunter took the mirror itself, and all had been concealed ever since. So, why did our parents go after it? Well, word has come that the Krugan are strong again, and they desire to make the mirror whole. The fake Interpol cops said they were looking for three shards, not four. That means that the Krugan already have one. It is your destiny. You must stop the Krugan. No. No, we have to find Mom and Dad. And then we can recover the shards and stop the Krugan. Well, the order in which you do this is your choice, of course. Dr. Kramer, do you know where the other three shards are? One. You've been storing a shard? We are all just vessels, dear boy. How do we find the others? Mm. You start by believing what you hear. This is a very special crystal. I picked this one particularly because... Right. Tell me, who is the leader of the Krugan? <laughs> You must go and find the other shards before the Krugan. We're not going to leave you. Just go. I can handle this one. Okay, okay we got to go. Come on. Here's the plan. Find my folks, save the world. Save the world, then find your folks. If we do it the other way around, it may be too late. Do you guys hear anything? No. The sucker's vibrating. I don't hear anything. Me neither. It's because you're old. Excuse me? Not old, old, just old. You know, the younger you are, the more frequencies you can hear. That's just the way it is. So what? So, remember what Kramer said? He said we could find the other shards if I believed what I was hearing. I'm telling you, I'm hearing this sucker vibrate. What are those numbers? It's the frequency in which it's vibrating at. Those are map coordinates. That's why Kramer chose this specific crystal to leave with the shard. Rocky Mountains. That's where the next shard is. Wait. We can't go there. Our parents are in Thailand. We have to go there. We have to save them. No, we have to go get the shard. That's what a true hunter would do. Well, maybe we're not true hunters, right, Pax? Trip, as much as it pains me to agree with her, Dylan's right. If the crew can get those shards, Mom and Dad may be the least of our problems. I remember what they always said. Sometimes you have to what? Sometimes you have to make the hard choice. Exactly. Now, I want to see them again just as badly as you do. But going after the shards instead of mom and dad, that is the hard choice. That's what they'd want us to do. Give me a wallet. For what? Just do it. Give me his tickets on the next flight to Denver. Listen very closely. Because this next part is very important. I don't care what you have to do, who you have to hurt. Those Flynn boys now have a shard. I want it. Be hungry. I've been hungrier. Is Carter with you? I can order more food. Carter's missing. 
Where are my boys? Last I heard, on a plane to Colorado. They're fine. By the way, I'm very impressed with your boys. Always have been. Oh, please, I, I'm unarmed. There's nobody else here, just you and me, two old friends, talking. Eat something. You took an oath. Same day Carter and I did. Oh, yes, the famous hunter's oath. Find and protect, never use. When I was a boy, my father repeated that oath over and over. We find and protect these items. He told me we never used them. He gave everything to the hunters. Everything. And now what happened to your father? Did you know what he was hunting on his last mission? The Grail Cup. The cup that heals. The very end when he was wounded and laying on the ground. He was holding it in his hands. The one thing in the world that could have saved him. I begged him to drink from it. You know what he said to me? Find and protect. Never use. Those were his last words. That was the day I told you and Carter I was no longer a hunter. Then we respected your decision, didn't we? We wiped you clear on the records. Nobody remembers what you used to be. But your father was right. These objects do not belong to us. They belong to all of us. You're insane. Friends don't call friends names. I know what the mirror does, Jordan. Look into it and gain your deepest desire. Yes, it's drugged. <laughs> we were talking about a magic mirror and the one thing you decide to eat is an apple. Am I the only one who sees the irony here? My deepest desire is to have ultimate power because only then will I be able to make sure the hunters vanish into history where they belong. All of them. Load her onto the plane. Wheels up in 30 minutes. Yes, sir. What are you surprised about? Your parents never told you you were hunters. Being a hunter is your birthright. Powers are passed down from parents to children. Powers? What kind of powers? Not literal power strip. They're not that special. Well, speak for yourself. A hunter's strength comes from his or her family. Each family is known for a particular quality. Mine, the Savini clan, is known for their loyalty. Um, you have the Banami clan. They're known for resourcefulness, and the Hesters for secrecy. And what about the Flins? Perseverance. Flins never give up. Knew it. Sorry if I refuse to be classified by some people who've never met me. Paxton doesn't believe in the power of family. <sighs> okay, that's not true. How is sailing across the ocean alone about family? I call that running away. It's about doing something awesome. Okay, yeah, but, but it's something groundbreaking. You're not helping anybody. Okay, but yeah, you're, you're awesome, you're cool, yada, yada, yada. You think it's easy? I'd like to see you try it. I would. I would if I was invited. You're always too cool for me. Guys, heads up. Guys. Yeah. Turn here. Wait, trip.
We'll let them find the shard, then move in. No sense getting our hands dirty if we don't have to. Alright. It's around here somewhere. Hey guys, look. Petroglyphs? Pictographs. Petroglyphs are carved, not painted. Don't know the difference between pictographs and petroglyphs? Seriously? Okay, keep moving. They go that way. Look, see? I got this. <laughs> Trip. Think. How was I supposed to think that would happen? At least you deactivated the trap. Seems like me. You guys coming? Women, right? Not all women. Just her. Is that? It's the story of the mirror. How? It's a warning. Telling people not to look into the mirror. Guys. This way. water sign. Uh, it's broken. On purpose. Yeah, broken water. But she can't break water. No. You can stop it. You can find the source. Nice. Perhaps you're smarter than you look. Careful. My people will be trapped. Okay. Okay. Get ready to run. One, two. Three. That's it? No spike thing or crushing wall? Okay. Let's get moving. I wanted to escape from something, you know? Big rock, anything, nothing, bummer. We see them, they're coming out now. Yes, they have the shard base. Excellent. Remember, they are not to be harmed. The hunters need to feel hunted. But I can get rid of them. Stick to the plan. It's vase, not vase. Really? Mm -hmm. If you hurt them. Hurt them? Are you kidding? They're brilliant. With almost no training, they've tracked down two of the shards already. I would hire them to find the last shard and the mirror for me, but there's no need. They're going to do it for free. <laughs> I know my boys. They will not help you. Really? An hour from now, they'll be on the phone begging for help. You guys good? As good as you can be. 
I thought the plan was only to scare them. Yes, well, accidents happen. Got it. Guys, heads up. Don't want to escape from something? I take it back. We gotta go. Now, go. Hurry up. Down here. Accidents you're talking about? You okay, Trip? Aside from me probably going prematurely gray after this, yeah, I think I'm fine. If the Krugan found us here, they'll probably find us again. We need a way to move, a way to travel. Trip, now I think it's time to call Mason. Perfect timing. Hello? Mason, it's Paxton. Paxton, what a delightful surprise. How are you? How are your folks? Uh, Tripp and I need your help. Well, of course, anything. Just tell me where you are. 19 Mason Fuller, this is Dylan. Pleasure. How do you do? Mason's one of our family's oldest friends. Still filthy, stinking rich? More than ever! Awesome. <laughs> Mason, mom and dad are missing. Tell me everything. I, I find this hard to believe. Yeah, so did we. <laughs> Trust me. My parents never told you anything about the hunters? Never. I, I thought I knew everything about them. Any idea where your parents are? Well, they were in Thailand. We're gonna find them. Yeah, but first we have to find the other shard and the mirror. And then what? Hide them? Destroy them? Well, here's my plan so far. One, we find the shard. Two, we find the mirror. And three? I said so far. Like everything we thought was a fairy tale, it's real. The mirror, the hunters, the Krugan. The other shards that you have. Maybe I see them? I don't know. We've said too much already. Of course I understand that. 
I just wish I knew more so that I could help you better. Do it. It's okay. All right, show him the shards. All right. to look at, right? That's them. Can, can you feel it? Can you feel the, the power? The other shard, the one that the Krugan don't have, where do you suppose that is? We don't know. Or the mirror itself. The first shard, it, it led to the second one. We're thinking maybe they all lead to each other. Are those letters? Where? They're, they're those. They're, they're not just designs. They're Greek letters written backwards. Yes, Stone, they are. Let's get to my office. I think I, think I can help. Jordan, I'm telling you, those kids are amazing. You should be very proud. In fact, listen in for yourself. They're just on the other side of that door. So close, and yet impossible to help. That must be torture for a mother. Trip, can you read that? It's true. I'm the smartest one in the room. I can't read ancient Greek. I can. Rhodopis. Benefits of a classical education. <laughs> What's Rhodopis? Rhodopis wasn't a what? She was a who? Rhodopis was an ancient Greek slave girl who married the Egyptian pharaoh Amos II after he discovered one of her glass slippers following a celebration in the ancient city of Memphis. It sounds like Cinderella. Bingo. It says here that the story of Rhodopis is actually the earliest version of a Cinderella story. Benefits of a preschool education. So the shard is somewhere in Egypt? No. Boston. Boston. Recently added to the museum's permanent fairy tales and meaning collection, the glass slipper allegedly worn by Cinderella. The shard is in the slipper. Nice work trip. Take the jet to Logan International. Mr. Fuller. Mason. Mason, all due respect, you are not a hunter. This is our sworn task, not yours. I've been a family friend to these boys for many years. With her parents missing, I feel a certain responsibility. Besides, having someone who's filthy, stinking rich as a traveling companion can't be the worst thing in the world, can it? Yes, or I'll cry. It's a black tie. And we definitely are not. How are we going to get in dressed like this? I have an idea.
What do you think? You know what? I think you could use these. Okay, how? That's what you were going for. Get used to this. <laughs> what do we do with our clothes? I'll have my uh, driver take them back to the jet. What about the shards? I think we should keep those with us. Oh, trust me. My private jet is more secure than Fort Knox. They'll be just fine there. Looking good. Invitations, please. We're with him. Mason Fuller of Fuller Industries. I'm sorry, you don't appear to be on our list. Curator. Excuse me? Get me the curator. Please. Sorry, Mr. Fuller. Please accept my apology. It's quite all right. We are so grateful for your contribution, and we were surprised to see you here this evening. Life is more fun last minute, don't you think? Indeed. Please, enjoy. This is what I call a party. Ladies? There. Glass slipper. doesn't belong to you. Bypass on the alarm. Benefits of having video game education. How's it coming, Trip? Not yet. Such power. I can feel it from here. A period quad server in a quom door, indeed. Who are you? Excuse me? Trip, stop. Mason's a hunter. What? Reperio quod servo nun quamator. Find and protect, never use the hunter's oath. Mason, what's she talking about? She's wrong. I'm not a hunter. 
Not anymore. You were the Krugen. I am the Krugen. Disable the alarm now. Axe. Do it, Trip. He's not bluffing. Pretty and smart. This one's a keeper, Baxter. All right. It's off. The alarm. It's, it's disabled. See? Properly motivated. We can achieve anything. Boys, you and Dylan, join me. All due respect to mom and dad, but you three are the real deal. Where are my mom and dad? I regret to inform you that your father is missing. Likely forever. What? Let's find the mirror together. And afterwards, I will make sure that you all have what you most dearly desire. You'll, you'll have family. Trip. Respect. Paxton, you will finally be able to sail off alone, leaving every earthly burden behind you. You will finally be at peace. We will never join you. Right, Pax? Right. No, oh, well, in that case. You little... Catch! Here. Pax! Not to contest my name. Pax, here! No! Realized I don't need all three of you alive. You want it? Catch it! Seriously, we're going to do this now? I'm just glad you're okay, baby. Pax, Dylan, see so you're back together. Hmm? What? No, not oh, us. No, 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 nope. no. Mom, what about Dad? Mason said that. I don't know, Pax, but he's your father, and he's a survivor, so. Mason has the shards, all of them. But he doesn't have the mirror, and he doesn't know where it is. And guess what? I do. Mr. Fuller, sir, we are so lucky you weren't hurt. Shame about the sleeper. We must find those thieves. We will. If I don't find them, the authorities will. We don't need them. We have the shards, but we don't know where the mirror is. You don't. But I do. I forgot how much you love your little secrets. Who gave this to you? I've never even seen that before. Is that what the Krugen are after? What is it, stone? It's the key to the wolf's tomb. Tomb? That sounds promising. We're going to Germany, kids. Mrs. Flynn, after what happened at the museum, the police are going to be checking every plane for us. Not this plane, Dylan. We're out of U.S. aerospace. This plane will get you to where you need to go. Thanks, Schoon. Wait, Schoon? As in the Schooner family of hunters? Around here, I'm just a regular army captain working cargo. Your family is legendary for their backup and support. They never leave a man behind. Well, it's all about being a good wingman. Besides, Carter and Jordan have saved my hide more than a few times. My pleasure. Follow me. Hey, 
been a little quiet since we all got back together. You doing all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, uh... Do you think Dad's all right? Your dad is one of the toughest people I have ever met, and I have to believe he's okay. I, I, I want you to know we were going to come for you and Dad as soon as we had the shards. Pax, you did exactly the right thing. Recovering those shards is so much more important than any one of us. Why didn't you tell us about the hunters? Do you ever recall your father and I fighting about anything? No. Right. Because we never did. Except for one thing. Whether to tell you and Trip that you were both hunters. He wanted to tell you. But I wouldn't let him. Becoming hunters was something that was decided for your father and me long before we were even born. But being a hunter also means that sometimes you are the hunted. And I wanted something more for you and Trip. I wanted something your dad and I never had, which was a childhood and peace. Yeah, but what you got was a whole part of your life that didn't include us. I, I just, I can't believe that you told Dylan everything and not me. But Pax, you have to understand, both Dylan's parents were hunters and they both died when she was so young. She didn't have any family. So the hunters took her in. We've just tried to give her a way out of her loneliness, you know? Just because we had parents doesn't mean we weren't lonely for them. Yeah, I know that now. Pax, thank you for not coming for us. Anytime. Wait, this is my favorite part. <laughs> You're right. You're right, it's the wolf's tooth. It's oddly appropriate that the mirror has been hidden all this time practically in my own backyard. Just promise me that when it's time, you'll let me deal with Jordan Flynn in my own way. Of course. You gotta watch this again. <laughs> Great graveyards. Are you afraid of ghosts? No. Yes, you are. You remember that Halloween? Oh, you be quiet or I will tell a story about a certain someone who slept with a nightlight who was okay. okay, okay. No, 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 no. I want to hear this. No. <laughs> no, moving on. So funny, man. I'll tell you later, Dylan. <laughs> The wolf's tomb wouldn't happen to have a carving of a wolf's head on it, would it? It's made of solid granite. The tooth is missing. The wolf's tooth. It's a three-button sequence. That's a thousand possible combinations. Another puzzle. But if we hit the buttons in the wrong order, the whole thing could collapse. Or explode, or turn into a large spiky thing. Yeah, yeah. We know the drill. It's the wolf. It's the wolf of Little Red Riding Hood. Meaning what? My, what big eyes you have. My, what big ears you have. My, what big teeth you have. I love that story. We did it. Certainly did. Nice trick. Pretending to deactivate the alarm. I don't know if I should shake your hand or send you to your room. Well, neither sounds appealing. 
I love this kid. Jason, do not make this mirror hall again. Why not? It would be bad. Ooh, scary. Jordan, the world is divided into two types of people. Those who are slaves to ancient traditions and tired superstitions, and me. Long before we were hunters, my family descended from the Gorgos of Greece, as did the Krugan. The ancient Gorgos ruled over man for millennia. That is my true birthright. Gorgos. People need leadership. They don't need some ancient order of warrior scientists protecting them from things that go bump in the night. The world needs me, not the hunters. You'll have to go through us to get to the mirror. I would have been so disappointed had you not said that. Gentlemen, wait. Did you mean what you said at the museum? If I help you get the mirror, you'll give me everything I want. Pax. Yes, Pax. You can finally set out on your journey. Free of your family. Pax, you don't know what you're doing. I do, Mom. Maybe for the first time. It's rigged. The two in the ceiling, we're running out of time. Here, take it. Finally. Okay. We gotta get out of here. We are, but you're staying. That's not what you said. Generations far better than the Flynn family have died in this tomb. Take comfort in that. Bring the little girl. She's been so helpful. What? No! 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 Dylan! If you don't mind, a bit faster, I've got a world that needs me. Dylan! Snake? No. It's a viper. It's the most venomous in Europe. Good. Thank you for that. I feel so much better. And he's got a friend. Hunter keeps all have safety zones. We just have to find a way out. He sold us out. I knew what I was doing, okay? I had a plan. Yeah, it clearly worked so well. We have to save Dylan. Okay, that's all that matters. Yeah, well, newsflash, we're kind of trapped in here. Maybe not. Hunter keeps are usually designed with darkness in mind. Your lights. We can't see without the light. No, we can't see because of the light. And what about our creepy crawly friends who like the dark? Trust me on this one, Trip. What, Trip? What, what? Get off my foot. Pax, I'm nowhere near you. Okay. Just don't move. Oh, thank you so much, Mom. Hang on. Where the wolf is. This is it. This is it. We just have to get this. Pax. Yeah? Move now. Move. OK, OK, OK. I hate snakes. OK, this is it. This is the way out. <clears throat> Through here. Yep. No problem. <laughs> that way. Wait. How do we know we can trust Paxton? Did he betray us? No. You got a plan? Yes, and I still think it can work. Okay. It's good enough for me. Come on, Trip. We're family. I go where you go.
That's it. That's Mason's castle. Let's go. What is this place? If I told you it was where the seven dwarves used to live, would you believe me? <laughs> Stop being surprised days ago. <laughs> so if that's the seven dwarves' cottage, that must mean there's a jewel mine nearby. This is the way into Mason's castle. Whoa! Can we take some? Find and protect. Never use. Is that a rule or just a general guideline? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Put it back. What are you doing? Showing you where all my boarding school tuition money's gone. Spectrograph. Nothing. Wait, there's a dead spot at the rear. It's a shielded area, no readings. Mason's hub. That's where he's got the mirror and villain. Okay, how do we get in there? Working on it. Infrared imaging. Gotcha. Can you find an entryway without the henchmen? Oh, come on. I was just starting to like those henchmen. All right, up here, there should be a way in. OK. I hope, little bro. Perseus shield. That wasn't an easy acquisition, was it, my? More valuable ones never are. <laughs> Mason, don't do this. You're smart enough to know that you'll never win. I'm sure in your little circle of friends, you're considered very clever. However, this is exactly what winning looks like. to upset you. Mason, I know you feel betrayed by the hunters and maybe by the world, but don't do this. <laughs> you really are adorable. After I'm granted ultimate power, remind me not to destroy you. It is complete. I knew you were a coward. Well, 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 the Flynn boys. Where's Mummy? She didn't make it. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well, don't take it too hard. Being orphaned did wonders for me. What are you waiting for? Do it. We don't want him to look into it, remember? Trust me, he won't. All your talk about the power of the Gorgos, how the Krugan are their descendants, that's all it was. Talk. If you were truly a hunter, you would know not to push me. I am a hunter of the Flynn clan. And your ancestors are laughing at you. Mirror, mirror. 
restore to me the power of Korgos. Make me the most powerful Krugan of all. You knew this was going to happen all along. Ever since Mason started bragging about being a descendant of the Gorgos. The Gorgos, the Gorgons, Medusa. Medusa's gaze. Could turn people to stone. So you wanted him to have the mirror, so he'd wish on it to be a Gorgon. So if he was looking into the mirror... He'd turn himself into stone. I'm sorry, I... that... I don't even know. <laughs> No problem. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Bob? He realized we could use the mirror to wish your father back. Mom, that's the curse of the mirror. You never know how to turn your wish back on you. Mom, well, listen, we want Dad back just as much as you believe me. It has to be done. Mirror, mirror, my fondest wishes is that you destroy yourself. We gotta get out of here now. Go! Coordinates? 100%. Mom? Satellite passes directly over the spot right at noon every day. So if your father's looking for us, this is exactly where we need to be. What time is it? 11.59 and 50 seconds. We have 10 seconds to go. Carter. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. Mom, what does this mean? It's encrypted. An old code. What sort of code? Distress. Last time I used his code, your father and I were... That's Dad. It has to be. What's the position? Peru! The golden egg of Motupe. It's your father. Come on. Look at his tickets on the next flight to Peru. Here, I'll put a list of supplies here. Pax, get this boat back to shore. Fills up in 90 minutes, everybody. Watch that.
lovely this time of year.